I saw it. You saw it. You know I'm jazzed. Let's get rambling. What is up, Ramblers? I can say right now, I am truly excited. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer just came out recent, uh, today. Uh, I'm filming it today, Thursday, November 5th. Um, and... Wow. I'm gonna say right now, I'm one of the people who really hated the Amazing Spider-Man reboot. I, I did not like it. It didn't have the same... I feel like it didn't have the heart of the same Raimi Spider-Man films. And it tried to be a realistic slash darker take on the, the Spider-Man, but when you have a giant cartoon lizard in it that wants to make everyone else lizards because of reasons, it doesn't work. It doesn't work to be a realistic take whilst being dark. I don't think Spider-Man is one of those heroes you can do in a dark way. He's always up like, I mean, heck, the film had to try to add a comedy in it too, the first Amazing Spider-Man, but I digress, so I can go on, on a tangent about the whole thing. But the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer hit today, and my gosh, is in it amazing. Um, first of all, a uh, big up here. Um, I thought the th the movie was gonna like I thought it looked stupid. Um, I saw some of the the uh, production photos of Jamie Foxx as Electro, which I don't mind him as Electro at all. I thought it was a great choice, but then I saw pictures of him, and he looked really dumb. There's this picture of him with the iPod in the side of his head. I don't know what it's there for, um, and I just thought he looked really schmaltzy is all then i heard they were putting rhino in it then i heard they were putting green goblin in the in the mix then, I said then they said they're gonna do the entire sinister six which i'll explain in a minute it turns out rhino is uh, the russian version alexi something i don't know here's the name um and there seems to be going from the ultimate versions of the comics which if you've never read ultimate spider-man it's a really good comic series i suggest you pick it up um there's a, a Marvel's redux of the characters in the series. Like, um, in the original Spider-Man comics, Alex O'Hearn gets trapped within this, uh, big suit that makes him bigger and stronger, and he just plows through things, and he's got a rhino thing on it. Rhino, rhino horn on his head, um, and he calls the rhino, he's called the rhino. In, uh, the Ultimate series, the, uh, Russian version of the rhino, he's, a uh, kind of a tiny man, doesn't have a lot of power, and, uh, gets in this mech suit mech suit rhino that's that mech suit thing is in the trailer and this is the mech suit from the comics i mean it's going a little off but hey it still works for what they're doing here and it turns out the rhino in this one is a minor villain they're treating these like they were everyday occurrences in spider-man's life like they're just things that happen i mean they're not ha like not every villain has to be a gigantic villain i remember when i played the, the game ultimate spider-man for like the ps2 and i'd be web web flipping around and just Electro, I mean not Electro, uh, Shocker would be just trying to like be running amok and I had to stop him and that was just a thing that happened in Spider-Man's life. I mean it's it's what happens in his life and that's great, that's fantastic. I love that concept. This is how Spider-Man's life goes and th this stuff just happens like this, which I like with the direction they're taking. Um, then you have the whole Green Goblin thing going on. I'm pretty sure, 90% sure, it's Harry Osborn who is the Green Goblin. I don't know if it's a spoiler, but you can't go off this, this is just a trailer, I'm going off the trailer. And mind you, I don't try to judge the quality of the film by its trailer. I have to see the final product, because I thought the Amazing, the Amazing Spider-Man trailer looked pretty good, and I actually, um, a while, while back ago, was like, saying, hey man, give it a chance, give it a chance, and I gave it a chance, it was kind of a fail for me. Um, <clears throat> but then you have Electro, who is the... <laughs> Pardon the pun, the powerhouse of this entire entourage of villains. Which, by the way, uh, speaking of entourage of villains, do, do you see the, the vulture and the Doc Ock tentacles? The vulture wings, Doc Ock tentacles in that trailer. Oh, so much awesome. Um, this is what they're leading toward the Sinister Six for. I, I know I'm jumping all over the place, I'm just really excited right now. Um, the Sinister Six, which, can, which has Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Vulture, Rhino, Electro and Hydro Man. Hydro Man's kind of the man. The, uh, okay, Hydro Man, I guess. The one, odd one out. But my guess, my guess is that they're going in the, in the Amazing Spider Man 3, they're going to introduce those three villains in the film. And I can't wait for that. Because also, if you look at the little uh, thing, the, the, uh, then that Harry and Peter Parker are going over in the little uh, in the Oscorp building. Uh, I'm assuming it's the Oscorp building. Is uh, you can see something called Venom Containment. 
You know what that means. Venom containment. That means Venom is going to be is going to be done right. I love the way they did Ultimate Venom in the Ultimate comic series. It's done so well, and it's done more of a realistic way. And I know Sam Raimi went the whole alien route, which is what the old comics did. But I like the uh, way they did it in the Ultimate Universe. If you, I'm not gonna. Sp I've spoiled enough enough as it is. I don't want to spoil enough for you anyway. But I'm extremely excited for The Amazing Spider-Man 2 by this trailer. And I know there are complaints about it like, Oh, Spider-Man looks too cartoony now. That's the suit that he wears in the Ultimate series. They try. I'm seeing the direction they're going for here. Because they realize that doing the Dark Spider-Man wasn't kick, kick, kicking it. So going back and reverting to its comic book roots is the better way to do it. And I agree with it. Um, I'm not usually one for comic book purism. Because I know certain things can't from comic books can't translate over to film, and you need to do an adaptation of that. So and that's what they're doing. But some of the things they're putting incorporating in here are working, and I like it. I like it a lot. <sighs> Could never leave home without it. So. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. I am extremely excited about it. I am a big Spidey fan. He was my number one superhero growing up. And uh, I can't wait to see him done justice for real this time. The Amazing Spider-Man didn't like it as much. I want to see this done right. I want to see Venom done right in the future. I can't wait. Anyway, if you like what you see here and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to Renegade Cinema to get videos like this. Whenever I'm free, uh, apparently, I've been really wishy-washy with how I've been making these videos for you guys. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on with school, I'm filming, filming a documentary right now, and I need all my focus there. So, pardon me if I don't make all the videos that need to be made. Um, but doesn't mean I will fail you. I am there for you, Renegades and Ramblers. I'm always there for you. Also, I'd like you to hit the Renegade Cinema website to get amazing articles written all just for you. The people. And as always, I'm Brandon Gropey with Renegade Cinema, signing off.